Hello friends, a new case in regression or linear regression. The case is find out the means x bar y bar, coefficients of regression we have x, b, x, y, lines of regression that means equations of lines of regression and the coefficient of correlation. And the information available is known values of x and y and relevant estimated values of y and x respectively. We have two known values of x. When x, known value of x is 30, estimated value of y is 52, known value of x is 40, estimated value of y is 68. And we have two known values of y. y 30, x estimated 14, y 40, x estimated 18. We know that when we have known value of some variable and we need to estimate the values of the value or values of the other variable then the variable the values of which are available is independent variable and the variable for which we need to estimate the values becomes the dependent variable so in these two cases x is independent and y is dependent while in these two cases, because we have values of y available and estimated values of x, that means x is dependent and y is independent. This is something different, something unique, but in correlation and regression, we believe that y and x both are dependent and independent on each other at the same time. Now, the estimated values of y on the basis of known values of x can be found on the basis of the line of regression of y on x and the estimated values of x can be found on the basis of the known values of y from the line of regression of x on y. We have just this much information and we need to find out so many things. Two means, two coefficients, two lines of regression and coefficient of correlation. So, seven things we need to find out just from this information. But we can because we have or rather we know the standard forms of the two lines of regression. On the basis of this information and standard forms of the equations we can find out everything. Let's start. Yes. I have to say that it is not necessary to find everything in this order. Whatever we can find first, we can. Let's first take the line of regression of y on x. Its standard form is y cap equals to a plus bx or bx plus a. And let's substitute the known values of x and estimated values of y in this equation. y is 68 when x is 40 and y is 52 when x is 30. If we subtract this second equation from the first, we can find out something. Because of this sign of subtraction, this positive 52 will become negative, positive A will become negative and positive 30 will also become negative because of the multiplication of positive and negative signs. 68 minus 52 is 16, positive and negative A can be cancelled, 40 minus 30 equals to 10B. So 10B equals to 16. That means b equals to 1.6. Now in case of the line of regression of y on x, b stands for byx. Therefore, byx equals to 1.6. So we found one of the two coefficients of regression. If we substitute this value of b or byx in any of these two equations, we can have a. 68 equals to a plus 40 into 
that means 68 equals to a plus 64 therefore a equals to 68 minus 64 and therefore a is 4 in this equation if we substitute the values of a and b in the standard form of the equation we can have the line of regression also the standard form is y cap equals to a plus bx Therefore, y cap or y estimated equals to 4 plus 1.6x. So, on the basis of known values of two known values of y and two estimated values of sorry, two known values of x and two estimated values of y, we found one coefficient of regression and one line of regression. Similarly, on the basis of the line of regression of x on y we can find another two things. The standard form of the line of regression of x on y is x equals to c plus by. Let's substitute the two known values of y as well as two estimated values of x into this equation. x takes value 18 when y is 40. And x takes value 14 when y is 30. Again, we are going to subtract this second equation from the first and as a result, minus into plus 14 will be minus, c will be minus, 30 will be minus, 18 minus 14 is 4, positive and negative c can be cancelled and 40 minus 30 is 10b. Therefore, b is equal to 4 by 10 therefore b is 0.4 so we can say that b x y is 0.4 now if we substitute this value of 0.4 into any of these two equations we can have the value of c say 18 equals to c plus 40 into b that is 0.4 therefore 18 equals to c plus 16 therefore c equals to 18 minus 16 and hence c comes to 2 thus we have b as well as c for the line of regression of x on y let's substitute them into the four standard form x cap equals to c plus b y that means x cap or estimated x equals to 2 plus 0.4 y. So in this way we found b x y and the line of regression of x on y on the basis of the known, two known values of y and two estimated values of x. So we ultimately found coefficients of regression and lines of regression. Now the coefficient of correlation is nothing but the geometric mean of the two coefficients of regression. So let's we find, <coughs> so we are going to find coefficient of correlation, square value of coefficient of correlation equals to byx into bxy, that equals to 1.6 into 0.4, that is 0.64. So, coefficient of correlation is under root 6.64, that means it is plus or minus 0.8 and since the coefficients of regression are positive, the coefficient of correlation must also be positive, so it comes to positive 0.8. Now, just we need to find out two means. How to find two means? If we solve the lines of regression, we can find the means. We are going to solve these two equations. We have many options. The most popular option is elimination technique. There are other also. But I am going to use the substitution method. We have equations of y as well as x respectively. If we substitute them internally into each other, we can have the values of x means x bar and y means y bar. Y equals to 
4.6x that means y equals to 4 plus 1.6 into 2 plus 0.4y therefore y equals to 4 plus 3.2 plus 0.64y therefore y minus 0.64y equals to 7.2 Therefore, 0.36y equals to 7.2 that means y equals to 7.2 divided by 0.36 that means y equals to 20. Therefore, y bar or mean of y equals to 20. Similarly, if we substitute equation of y into this equation of x, we can have the value of x that will be x bar, x equals to 2 plus 0.4 y, that means x equals to 2 plus 0.4 into 4 plus 1.6 x, therefore x equals to 2 plus 1.6 plus 0.64x therefore x minus 0.64x equals to 3.6 therefore 0.36x equals to 3.6 therefore x equals to 3.6 divided by 0.36 that means x equals to 10 and at this stage x is x bar that is 10. We are well aware that if we solve the two lines of regression or equations of line of regression, the values of x and y are respectively x bar and y bar. So, in this way, on the basis of just this much information, we can find all these things. Thank you very much.